All right, welcome back to explain three. Well, we'll be finding and graphing inverse of cubic functions now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the um, inverse um, of f of x equals x to the third minus nine. We're going to replace f of x with y. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to try and isolate x to the third by, as it says here, adding nine to both sides. So that would be zero. And I'm left with x to the third equals y plus nine. The next thing I'm going to do, just like if I wanted to get rid of uh, to the second power, I square root it. What I'll do here to get rid of x to the third is I will cube root. Okay, so I'll cube root both sides. And I'm left with x equals the cube root y plus nine. The next thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and um, again switch around our x and y. So that'd be y equals the cube root of x plus nine. I'll then replace y back with the function inverse symbol. Because that's what we found here, the inverse of that original cubic function. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to graph it and see if they are both a reflection and try and sketch my y equals x, which is pretty much a, a line that just cuts through the diagonal. We're going to see if they are reflections of each other. We're going to use the program again, desmos.com to kind of sketch both of these out. So let's do that. All right, let's go ahead and use our uh, Desmos calculator to calculate both of those. So we'll write in again, instead of f of x, y equals um, x to the third power minus nine. Our second equation would be y equals the cube root which I'm going to use um, some of my uh, functions. Instead of uh, using the square root, I'm going to use my cube root. So I'm going to write this in. So I can write three as my cube root of x plus nine. And then I'm still going to draw my um, equation y equals x so I know if it's a reflection or not. So I'm going to go ahead and put my keyboard down and see if they actually are. So they both meet at this point here. As you can see here and here, these are both kind of inverse of each other. 0 comma 2.008 uh, and this one's 2.08 comma 0. Um, so they are inverses of each other as you can see here. So go ahead and take some time and sketch this graph onto your piece of paper and we'll be back with the next explain.